Uh, I wanted to make two particular points, one tactical and the other constitutional. The first, the tactical point. The noble lords, um, as I remember to my cost, the noble lords' rec um, re recollection, recall on what positions the Liberal Democrats took in the past has not always been entirely accurate, as I recall. Um, but on this issue, surely the difference is this, that when the Wales referendum was put, it was put on a specific proposition, fully backed up with policy and detail. On this occasion, the proposition put to the British people was to leave or not. They decided to leave. That mandate is clear, and the government is entitled to enact that mandate. But there is no mandate, unless the noble lord might like to suggest what the mandate is, for the particular form of, rep of, for the particular form of exit that the government chooses. There is no mandate to leave the single market, nor to leave the common uh, customs union. So, if there is no mandate for that, why is it that the government have chosen to use that as the most hardline Brexit possible? And if he believes there is a mandate for that, will he describe what it is, given that the majority of the people in this country, in opinion polls, have made it clear they do not support this, and the Conservative and the cons and the Conservative and and the conserv and the con if you'll allow me and the con and Order. 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 I don't wish to stifle debate, but the noble lords should know that we're on report stage and it's not uh, uh, the opportunity to interrupt a speaker is not an opportunity to make a speech. Yeah. Lords, I have, as I think the noble lord, Lord Ashdown, knows, enormous admiration for his skill and ability. He's at his best when he makes points with simplicity. That point was not made with simplicity. <laughs> I'm totally confused by what he was seeking to say, and I reject his argument completely. He knows perfectly well, as the whole of the Liberal Democrats know, that what was put to the country was a referendum in the normal constitutional and legal form. No Liberal Democrat, no, no, le no, liber no, no Liberal Democrat, least of all Lord Ashdown, suggested for one moment perhaps he was too busy eating his hat as a result of his comments on television during the general election. But no Liberal Democrat, least of all he, suggested that there was something different about the referendum that we faced last June, but my Lords, I'm sure, will want me to get on. My Lords, the truth of this matter is that we are facing this uh, proposal for the second time, now rather better drafted, thanks to the intervention of the noble Lord, Lord, Lord Grocott, 